Hello everyone. Today I am going to share with you a very interesting number game. Students can be seated in pair and uh, they can be given a number board. As you can see that numbers from 1 to 24 are written. It can be more. Now how the game has to be played? Each number in the sequence must be a factor or a multiple of the previous number. So the children, they play this game in pair. Let us begin. Say I am selecting the number 16. So either I can select 8. 8 is a factor of 16. Or I can select 32, but here we are not having the number 32. 32 is a multiple of 16. So here I can select even 4. 4 is also a factor of 16. Or I can select even 1 because 1 is a factor of all the numbers so let us begin the game because we have to make the largest sequence by just clicking on the numbers we can select either a factor or a multiple of the number chosen so i chose 16 now i am choosing 8 then 4 I can select 12, I can select 24, 24 is multiple of 12, then because it is 24, so 24 is uh, divisible by 6, so I can select 6, then 6 times 3 is 18. So let us go for 18, then I can choose 9, 9 is a factor of 18, then 3, now we can see any multiple of 3, let us see, okay, let us go for 21, because when I choose 21, I have an opportunity to select factors of 21 so 7 is a factor of 21 now after 17 we can go to a multiple of 7 which is 14 so we have got these many numbers in the sequence so now you can see here that no multiple of 14 is there because 28 is not there and if you see the factors of 14 then 2 is left okay we have picked up 2 then we can go for 22 it gives us a chance to place 11 okay now for 11 if you see we are just left with 1 and now we can go and select any number but we have to keep this in mind that we should be moving okay let us see 10 multiple of 10 is 20 then Factor of 20, we can eliminate 5, then multiple of 5, which is 15. So you can see that we are left with 4 numbers. So we can choose a rule, like how many numbers are left will be minus 4. Or how many we have taken in the 
sequence. So there were total 24 numbers, 4 are left. So we can have 20 points for this very round, right? So now the turn will move to the next child. Let us see what will happen. So randomly we can begin from any number. Let us uh, begin the game. 8. So I am choosing 8. So multiple of 8 is 16. Then uh, multiple of 16 is not in this. So we have to look for a factor of 16. So factor of 16. 4. Then multiple of 4. 1 is already elim eliminated which was 8. So we can go for 12. Then 24. Then factor of 24. We can choose any number which is a factor of 24. So let us go for 6. Then multiple of 6. 12 already gone. We can select 18, then factor of 18, we can have 9, then we can have factor of 9 as 3, we can have multiple of 3, here you can see. 6 already gone, 9, then 12, 15, 18, let us choose 21, then this gives an opportunity to select 7, then 14, then we can go and pick up 2, then let us take 22, then 11, then 1, then let us take 10, 20, then 5, and <laughs> here also four numbers are left. Isn't it interesting? So let us see if you try this game, you are able to have less number of these uh, number coins on the board and you are able to make a bigger chain of numbers following the rule that the sequence should be in framed in such a way that numbers are factor or a multiple of the previous chosen number. Isn't it interesting? Enjoy learning maths.